boil water of your choice. I prefer distilled water or spring water. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a teaspoon and put one teaspoon marshmallow root, one teaspoon slippery elm. And this marshmallow root, even though it looks all wood grain, it's really gonna melt like marshmallow. As soon as that heat hits it, it's not gonna stay all wood like that. This is our slippery elm. And I get mine in bulk from health food store. Or you can order online. I like to order like this so I can try it out to see how my body reacts to it before I go super crazy with things or see the taste of how cheap I can get things or whatnot. But this is what our basic tea is going to be consisted of. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, if you would like to, you could also put one tablespoon of um, black molasses or a raw honey if you don't like the taste of it but this is pretty fairly sweet and this really doesn't have a taste to it i never tried this without putting a base tea first this is gonna be my first time trying it like this so um yeah but nine times out of ten i'll probably drink it anyway because i'll drink something that tastes earthy or whatnot <laughs> so yeah and i'm gonna do my cast oil pack I already have um, my wrap on. I put castor oil and black seed oil. Don't mind my little granny panties. It's just for more fabric to be over my womb or whatnot. Then I pull my sweatpants up and then pull the shirt down. I have on my Big Bang Theory shirt. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah. And um, I was told that you could take this up to three to five times a day. You can take it before meals up to 20, 30 minutes before you about to eat. And you can do this in a capsule form if you don't want to do it in a tea form. I can, you can either um, buy capsules separately or you can make your own by buying the root like this and um, putting them in there. They sell vegan capsules at the health food store. So that's always an option as well. And you'll just take them 20, 30 minutes before you eat, just like you would take the tea or whatnot. All right, and this is day one. I'm back on my vegan, trying to eat healthy. So we're just going to keep vlogging, and I'll let you know how everything is going as far as my cycle, um, my bowel movements, my energy level, um... New experiences with the new vegetables and new fruits because I like to try new things. I don't like the same thing over and over and over. That's something that I really like like that. Um, and how my withdrawals from meat is. I'm already started stopped eating pork a few months back in October of last year. It's currently May of 2019. So back in October of 2018, I stopped eating pork. So... <clears throat> it's almost been a year with that. I've been doing good. I've been doing real good with that. And I really don't eat anything besides turkey, chicken, fish when I crave fish. And I barely even eat crab legs or shrimp anymore. But, um, so I think I might do good with my withdrawals from me. So if you want to do this challenge or if you're on a vegan journey, just... Tap in. Let me know your experiences. Let me know what other type of supplements you're taking. Oh, I'm also taking Serapeptis in the morning. Again, I'm trying that out again. I'll do a vlog on that because my first experience with that was just so horrible. So, I don't know. Now, I'm trying to... I'm on my cycle right now, TMI. My cycle is never the same. Like I said, I have PCOS and endometriosis. So, um, this time around, I'm starting on a Monday. And I'm also starting while my cycle is on because I want everything to purge while my body is naturally trying to purge everything out. I know sometimes they say don't take things when your body is doing certain things. But being that I have took it while not on a cycle and seeing how my body did, I feel comfortable with doing this like this. On top of while my cycles would come the first time I tried it, even though I didn't stick to the full 30 days. I think I did about 20 of the 30 days and stop because 
of my own reasons, which I'll put in that video. Um, I think I'll do better this way because, like I said, my body is naturally purging. So by the time that all of that is already, you know, did what it needs to do, being that my cycles are never the same as far as days, um, flow, all of that, never the same. So that's why I'm trying to go this route. I had Chipotle for lunch at 1 o'clock because I did intermediate fasting. Um, I had a vegan bowl with brown rice, black beans, um, grilled peppers, queso. Um, I had the regular salsa and corn salsa. It also had sour cream and guacamole on it. And being that the sour cream and the queso and cheese is dairy, which is animal processed base um i'm trying to wing off of that i'm trying to wing off of bread and dairy because that's where that's where my really big issue probably be at with this whole vegan thing because um i love cheese like cheese sour cream cream cheese cheesecake um you know i really don't drink milk like that or ice cream and i currently switched over to almond milk for that reason as well so like i said more health journey videos will be coming but if you're struggling with um digestive issues or pcos endometriosis any type of um clogging or where you're feeling super acidic and sluggish like I, this slippery elm is going to help push all of that out and this is going to help detox and purify and replenish after the slippery elm has pushed out all that old dead mucus and replaced it with the good new mucus so and this is just to revive all that back from you know so it goes hand in hand with each other and then serapeptis when i take that in the morning and which i'm gonna start taking it twice a day i'm just trying to see how my body does again right now and i don't want to overdo it while i'm on my cycle end up with a 30-day cycle so um i want to start trying to take that in the morning and at night and not eat anything past eight o'clock on a regular basis on top of i've been wanting to do that for years anyways I feel like it's so unhealthy to eat at 11 and 12 o'clock at night. And being that my lifestyle is that I don't get off of work at those times anymore. I shouldn't have no reason for eating at those times at night. So I'm really on myself about that. Also, if you have regimens or <laughs> anything, if you're a person that does not like to eat past certain time, please let me know what restaurants you go to. Um, what time you wake up for routines, if you do intermediate fasting and take supplements where you can't eat at certain times with certain supplements or whatnot like that, or if you're supposed to take it before or however, please let me know. I'm willing to learn so much. This is a journey and an experience and, you know, it'll probably help somebody else out there. Or I can look back and you know, see what I do different from today's date to like a year or six months from now. Who knows? It might be a dramatic change. It might be a small change. But I'll get back with you guys later. I'll let you know in the description if I added honey to this or not because I don't own um, molasses at the moment. And have a good day, y'all. I hope you guys had a um, good Mother's Day, had a safe weekend. Um, I hope everybody's health is in good condition, being that this is flu season with all this rain and up and down with the weather. So please make sure you're drinking your tea. You got your black seed oil on hand. You got your natural tinctures. You're using certain spices and herbs in your food to keep down with certain health issues. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cayenne, pepper, sage, turmeric, um, cumin seed, you know, grapeseed oil. Like, this is some of the things that I keep around in my kitchen. Red pepper flakes, you know, raw honey, you know. I don't just be saying things to you guys just to be saying it. Like, I really be serious.
Um, I don't think I have anything on the side that's super organic like that, but I try my best not to, um, daily, you know. I use that for everything. I even put that in my bag for you guys. It's so, so good for you guys. Paprika, apple cider vinegar, you know. I also have some coconut and avocado oil that I use as an actual lotion right now. Because I don't really like using the Victoria's Secret stuff like that. So I'll just mix a little bit for a scent or with my oils and then use my coconut and avocado oil for, you know, to moisturize my body with. Like, if you can eat it, why not put it on your body? Why put something on your body that's hazardous, you know? Like, <laughs> come on now. What you are is what you eat. What you eat is what you are. And that's real spill. I understood it as a little girl, but now that I'm older, I'm creeping up on 30. I'll be 27 in July. Like, I'm really understanding what that means. So this has cooled down now. It's not so hot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here. Like I said, it's going to melt down, so I really don't need to um, strain it or anything. It's going to stir. And I don't know if my water was hot enough, but I know normally when I would put this in my other tea, it would like melt instantly, but I'm probably still going to drink it like this anyway. This is not going to hurt anything. And I want to drink it before that slippery elm turns into a full gel. I never tried it like that last night. It was my first time actually using this. And I think I did it wrong because my water, again, was too cold. And I just poured it straight out of the, um, some room temperature water. And I took a mouthful of the powder and just drink, chased it with water. This, I just tried to warm it up. And um, as you can see, it's starting to turn jelly. As you can see, the um, milk, I mean, marshmallow root sitting. It's not too hot. Okay. Now I feel like I was talking about. If your water's not gonna be extremely hot and you boil it in while it's on the stove, strain it afterwards for your um, marshmallow root. Because this water is not hot enough for it to dissolve how it would normally dissolve when I make my um, bulkier teas. And I also do strain those as well, but I have so many other herbs in there when I do those teas. And um, the Slippery Elm has kind of a cinnamon cocoa taste to it. So I see why they said um, if you want to put if you want to put a um, sweetener in it. But I'm trying not to feed my PCOS, that's just me spitting out the wood. And I'm starting to taste it coating my tongue. So, it's not bad. I said it just tastes a little earthy. But a hint of natural sweetness. 
not the prettiest sight. And it's gelling up. The longer it sits, the more it's gelling up. You see how that gel just came to the surface? I'm going to start mixing it. Kind of like an oat taste. Like if we were to eat oats without nothing in it. That's like the earthy taste I'm talking about. And this is also going to activate my intestinal walls for when I um, do my heating pad for my castor oil pack. So it's getting everything warm and when I was rubbing in my oil, I got everything, you know, circulated by massaging those areas. And then this heat is activating it and pushing out all that old gel and everything. So, or not gel, but mucus. You want to do this on a day where you have access to a bathroom because the slippery elm may affect you dead on or however, depending on how, what you done ate that day, your original digestive system, how it works. So please make sure you're not at work trying to make this tea and then you mess around to go to the bathroom or a day where you got to go do something or taking care of business and you're stuck at the bathroom because you done made this tea. Today I didn't have to work. <laughs> I went a little bit of car shopping and I got here. I made the tea after my stomach settled down a little bit from eating my Chipotle and that smoothie because even though I didn't eat meat, that smoothie had in that had me full like and I didn't even finish all my food I ate the bulk of it and I didn't even eat all of the smoothie either like I had got a medium and still had like a quarter of the cup left I was like I should have got a small like it was a waste of money like and that was the only meal I had so far today and I plan on eating some of that um frozen okra pack that comes in the freezer section with the other mix of veggies I wanted to do some of that over a brown rice and um, do some chickpea beans or garbanzo beans, as you some of you may know it by. And um, maybe do like a fried sweet potato for something sweet. I'm really trying to stay away from carbs because I'm a carbaholic. That's why I really don't want to make no bread. I want to make some bread so bad. But I need to wean myself off of bread too because bread just turns into sugar. And that's feeding my cyst on my ovaries. And that's not what we want. We're trying to get more alkaline not more acidic so once i get my body back to a state where i feel like i'm comfortable and can indulge in a little bit more bread here and there i will indulge in that but i don't want to so far right now because i'm already trying to do the rice and i'm switching over to brown rice from the white rice so and then if i do do noodles which you know it's kind of a carb but um, I want to do veggie noodles, so that way um, I'm still getting what I want, but in the texture and everything, and tricking my mind into like, hey, and I'm still getting full, but I'm more healthy. And these meals are meals to where they're not going to have me all drained and down and feeling heavy. And I really like to see how my body reacts to not eating meat at all, like, I never in my 26 years of living like went completely just raw vegan. I have my days where I'm like, mm, I don't want to eat any meat today. I'm going to eat a salad and take it light. And then the next day I eat meat. But what? <laughs> so I'm excited to see how this goes. Again, if you're trying this or have done this, chime in. Let me know in a comment. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and get comfortable. Turn me on some YouTube or some Netflix and finish drinking this down. Um, I'm just wiping the um, wood parts out. Since I didn't get a chance to strain it first, I thought it was going to melt like my other teas, like I said previously before. But, um, yeah, if you, I mean, if you want to eat it, I guess you could eat it. Like, your body's just going to digest it, but I don't want to eat it, so... I'm gonna leave it there. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Get at your girl. Thank you. Have a nice one.
Okay, y'all. Yeah, so it's Friday, the 24th. Of, um, May. And he got me another vegan bowl. And it's white rice, black beans, um, regular salsa, corn salsa, cheese, guac, and queso. I'm about to eat this and then a little bit of that I have some rain in Just for a light snack. It's about 8 21 right now. So it's my first real meal of the day. For real, for real. So I'm about to eat this and I got some chips right here. a couple shots to some watermelon to rock the boat again. Yeah, I'm trying to smash as much as I can. My stepdad was telling me nice earlier. I got me a chicken pot pie from KFC, but I want to eat that. I'm scared to eat it. Because <laughs> I haven't been eating me. Besides fish and seafood. But I should have in later if I eat some fish bones. And update y'all on how my supplements came on and everything. Alright, y'all, switches.